Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at three beautiful flutes from Native Sunrise Flutes. Welcome back, I'm Johnny Lippard, and on this channel we do tips, tutorials, reviews, cover songs, original songs, meditations, all sorts of things showcasing the versatility of the Native American flute. If you're new here, consider subscribing and drop a comment below so we can welcome you. Also below you'll find show notes, some links, and also some goodies, so be sure to check those out. Check out these beautiful flutes from Ron Stutz of Native Sunrise Flutes. I have three of his flutes here with me. Two are made from Spanish cedar and one from smoked walnut. These are very, very aromatic. I wish this was a scratch and sniff situation so you could actually smell these flutes. Spanish cedar, as you know, is one of my favorite woods um, and the smoked walnut is becoming a very uh, popular one for me. I uh, love them a lot. So let's get into the details of these particular flutes as well as some sound samples. We're going to start today with the, uh, the key of E. This is an E4, also known as a mid E. Uh, this is made from smoked walnut, like I said, and has a beautiful aroma to it. What I really love about the design of this flute are two things. Um, actually, there are three things that I love about this. One is just the overall aesthetic of the flute. Uh, Ron does this bark technique uh, where he's got some paint in here and then sands it back off. So it really creates a nice, um, almost like a cabin or a very rustic uh, look to it. I love his block design, it's simple. And I like the way that the, uh, the leather straps kind of nest in here. The other thing that I love about the block, as you can see when we get in here, that it's nested in here and it's got walls right here and this is on all of his flutes so the block doesn't it doesn't wiggle around right so it won't slide or twist the other thing about ron's flutes that i absolutely love 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 this is the wet out protection now you may have seen some other videos that i've done with wet out protection uh, ron puts uh, ceramic in here and so he puts this in the, the flue area, as well as the bottom of the block. And this is a standard feature on his flutes. Now I played, um, I tested this and I was able to play my, I have a couple other flutes from him and I was able to play my A flute for a lot longer than, you know, some of my other A flutes. Now you still want to keep it dry and do the maintenance like you do on other uh, flute so um, moisture will still be in there even though it's not debilitating the sound of the flute you'll still get moisture in that area so you want to anytime you put that moisture there you want to remove it and we've got things like the flute dryer and other things you can do to uh, to do with wet out so anyway let's get into the sound of this flute and then I'll go into I'll follow it up with the D and then the C so we're going to go one note lower each time so E to D to see. Here we go. Next, I'm going to move over to the D. And you notice that I really like to play the high notes. Um, and Ron's flutes really do a wonderful job in the uh, second register. So when we're pushing in uh, to go above the octave. So for those of you that don't know, the fundamental is all holes closed. The octave is going to look like this. And then there are notes above that that are higher than that, that a lot of us stay away from because they sound high or sharp or shrill. So the other thing with, with Ron's lower flutes, we see this on the E or on the D and the C. We have ergonomic finger holes, so they're no longer in a straight line. 
they start to be, um, uh, you know, put in a way that for a right-handed player, meaning if you play right hand on bottom, then this is gonna work for you. If you play with left hand on bottom, then this is not necessarily going to work for you, but he will make it for a left-handed flute player. So these are set up for a right-handed flute player. Here we go. This is in the key of D, Spanish cedar. beautiful tone made just like the E it has the wall support on the side so the the block doesn't twist around also has the wet out protection now we get into the C and this is one um, I just I love this key a uh, key of C ergonomic finger holes same thing block nested down in there wet out protection um, and it's a little bit this is uh, the largest flute of his that I have and here's how it sounds. Ah, sounds so good. Beautiful work by Ron Stutz. Um, we carry these in our uh, store online. Uh, we carry just a few keys and a couple of wood options. These are three of those. But if you're looking for something different, a key that maybe we don't have, or if you're looking for a different wood, um, and Ron is a very artistic uh, flute maker. So he does the, I have a flute of his that has the Lichtenberg uh, wood burning on it. He's done a lot of other things outside of this specific design. This is something that I, I just wanted to create a specific line with him. So Ron Stutz, Native Sunrise Flutes. Uh, he's based out of Utah and uh, is just doing a phenomenal job. He's a relatively new flute maker on my radar um, and I'm super happy uh, that I have crossed paths with him. So anyway, look him up if you do order a flute from him, tell him I said hi. Uh, if you order a flute from us, uh, like the ones that you see here today, uh, thank you. Uh, and we will see you in another video, whether it be a flute tutorial, flute review. Uh, by any means, please consider subscribing so you're among the first to know when new videos drop. We appreciate it very much, and we'll see you soon. Hi friends, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're looking to grow as a flute player and achieve more in your flute journey, click below. If you're looking for more videos like this, see the playlist in the corner. And lastly, please consider subscribing so you're among the first to know when new videos drop. Thanks again, see you soon.